everyone, I'm Asia Hall and welcome to this early October edition of Savannah State Now. Top of our news story is the administration of Savannah State University putting an end to a well-known course of study and then bringing it back. Here's more on that story. Last week, students were in an uproar over the Savannah State University's decision to deactivate the Africana Studies program due to the lack of students graduating with the major. Two of Savannah State's beloved professors had this to say. And I think that it is um, appalling, for lack of a, a better word, that um, this program that was started by students as early as 1996 would be uh, deactivated without consulting the students. Um, I think anytime student protest results in such a vibrant program at a historically black university, I think anytime that happens, students should be consulted. Uh, the community should be consulted, the faculty as a whole should be consulted. And so that um, lack of communication, um, I think is one of the major problems. The students voiced their opinion respectfully and let the university know that ending an Africana Studies program at an HBCU is just unjust. Africana Studies is never about Africana Studies solely. It's about Savannah State. Mm -hmm. We all understand. We look out for Savannah State. We want to increase their enrollment for the entire institution. Mm -hmm. We know some people are going to go into business. Mm -hmm. Some people are going to mechanical engineering. We know that for a fact. We understood that. But we said what we can do as Africana Studies majors as people in the program, we cannot impact Savannah State because that's what we do. Africana Studies is a safe haven, an intellectual safe haven for most of the people on this campus, for some people on this campus. It's a form of censorship or really a limitation on the way that we look at our education system or the way that we are learning about ourselves as black people on a historically black college and university. On October 2nd, 2018, Dr. Cheryl Davenport-Dozier sent an email stating SSU has rescinded the decision to deactivate the Bachelor of Arts in Africana Studies degree major. She ended by saying she thanks the students and faculty for their passion and stated she looks forward to reviewing an updated academic plan to ensure a robust Africana Studies program at Savannah State University. Also, the Savannah State Tigers are home again and they'll be here for a while. Pierre Gauthier has more on the story. The football home season has officially kicked off. First home game, Bethune-Cookman won 35-20 to over Savannah State this past weekend. Coach Niemeyer gives us more details on what fans can look forward to. Then when you look at the last two weeks where I think we've stacked up pretty well with teams, um, you know, we've played them very tough and uh, have gotten better from, you know, FAMU to Bethune. There's things here and there. Uh, as long as we put everything together, which we are fully capable of against Charleston Southern, I think we can have a good game. Savannah State football player Pennington tells us fans in the stands are a big motivation during games. The more people at the game, the better. I mean, you know, just knowing that we have support, um, you know, even with the start of our season, how it was, knowing that we have support people behind us, I feel like that definitely is a big impact for us. Catch Coach Niemeyer and Pennington on the field with their team this weekend as Savannah State Tigers goes against Charleston Southern. Kiara Gauthier, Savannah State Now. For Savannah State Now, I'm Asia Hall, and we'll see you next time.